Next, calculate your study requirements. You're going to need certain hours, certain days, a certain number of days, a certain number of hours per day to do all of your studying. Now, some people, not everyone studies the same amount. Most people study uh, a, a particular amount uh, in a given day, uh, but everyone's different. You must determine for yourself how many hours a day you will devote to every, any given course and how many days per week you will have for each one of these courses. So that is something that you have to map out early on. Budget your time. I mean, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's very important because, as we said previously, your time will, will be precious. It's very important that you budget your time because you will find that you'll wish you had more time. Every law student always wishes that they had more time, at least most do. And this is going to be something that's going to be very important, that you, you have a good time budget so that you are effectively using your time, that you're not bogged down, that you're not forgetting things, that you're budgeting your time so that you know how much time you have to study for your class, how much time you have for transportation to class, how much time you spend in class, how much time you need for transportation home from class, how much time you need to study for class, and how much time you need to study for your exams. You've got to budget all this time. You've got to budget time if you need to go get a quart of milk. You have to budget time if you need, if you need to go to the dentist. You have to budget all the time in your life precisely because there's not going to be very much time, much of a margin for error. You've got to you know, make sure that you have a very tight budget for your time. Stay focused. Avoid distractions. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, you will find that you know when you're on any given campus, there, there are going to be all kinds of distractions. And certainly, if you go to a campus like uh, University of Michigan uh, or, or any other uh, school that has football, basketball, uh, different. Uh, musical activities, different uh, uh, entertainment activities, social life. There are going to be a lot of distractions. Stay focused because once you dig in and start studying for your final exams, pretend you're a bear and you're hibernating. All of the, a lot of that stuff is going to have to wait. Uh, if, 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 if there are some very critical things, I mean some essential things to your life, something that you, you must do, okay, Allow that to be a part of your budget. But then if you're, if you're going to go to uh, a party or some sort of gathering and you know that it's taking time from your study or, God forbid, it takes time from your sleep, then you have to compensate for that in your budget, in your time budget someplace. So just make sure that for anything that you're doing, for any of these extracurricular activities that, that, that take time away from your studying, you make it up some way. Strengthen your weaknesses. Everyone has weaknesses, either in a course or either, either a port, a port, an element of law or a method of analysis, whatever it is, points of law, strengthen it. In other words, you will, you will feel that there, there are some things that you're, you're not entirely sure of, something that you're not uh, entirely confident about. Those are the things that you have to work on. Those are the things that you must you know, spend more time doing. Uh, because it's very important that you, you, you don't want to be in law in, in, in your, your final exam and find out that the thing that you are absolutely weakest in is, what's, is, is a major portion of your, your law school exam. You, you cannot let that happen. So just do yourself a favor. Strengthen your weaknesses. Talk to other classmates. Talk to upper class persons. Dig into the case book. Dig into the horn book. Go into the commercial outline and make sure that you're up to speed on any element of the law. Learn the law. Know the law. What does that mean? It means you have to know this stuff. There's no substitute for it. There's, there's no magic formula. I mean, there, there are certain kinds of uh, methods that can be taught to you. There are certain kinds of uh, ways of studying. But ultimately, it all comes down to knowing the law. Learning the law and knowing it. You have to read this material. You have to read all of this material. You have to comprehend it. And you have to learn it. You have to know it. And, 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 and that's just the way it is. I mean, you have to learn it and know it and, and be able to uh, recite it 
when you get to your law school exams. Uh, we, uh, we all go through this process, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a very arduous process. It, it, it's something that is a part of your life that you never forget. And you say to yourself, how am I going to get through this? I mean, you, you, sometimes it feels like an overwhelming burden. And, and obviously there are fears, there's, there are anxieties, there's, there's a lot riding on this. And if you, were, if you were a good student in college, which you probably are if you've made it to law school, there's, there's some basic fact that you know, that you remember from college that you should apply here. There's nothing to worry about if you do the studying. If you put in the work, if you put in the time, and you learn this material, you learn it and understand it, and go through the process of identifying what they're looking for on the exams, you'll be okay. Put in the time, put in the work, learn the material. When you learn the material, when you know the material, you'll be okay.